Less than 13.6, writing integrals as a summation with limits. So we're doing exactly what we did in the last lesson, but now we're going to write it as a limit, which gets a more accurate uh, depiction, an accurate number, an estimate for an area under a curve. Because let's think about that. If we have some kind of curved function, let's say from 0 to 4, and I've got all these rectangles, and let's say I'm doing a right-hand sum. I'm just trying to draw fast. The more rectangles I get under here, the closer I'm getting. It's like I'm eliminating all this excess that would be above or below the curve. So I want to get more and more and more rectangles until really I'm approaching my number of rectangles to be infinity. It's kind of like when we did limits in the beginning in first semester that we learned we want to get so, so, so minusculely close to a point we're actually finding the slope at that value. That's the concept behind this. And so what I'm going to do is see that I'm going from 0 to 6. And it says then that I'm taking my b minus my a to find the difference. That's 6 minus 0, which is 6, divided by the number of rectangles. Well, the difference is that I don't know the number of rectangles. We don't know how many rectangles we're going to have. And so we're just going to call that n. Before it would say we're going to have 20 subintervals or 10 subintervals, and we would divide by that number. Well, now I'm just going to call it 6 over n. So it gets a little harder for your brain to wrap around because we have so many variables. So then it starts out saying, OK, this is our first rectangle. We're going to go to n rectangles. And we want our rectangles to become infinite so that we can get a really accurate area under a curve. Then I want to write a function here. I already know this is my delta x, or my width of each uh, rectangle. So like each rectangle under here is 6 over n. Remember then that because I'm going to have multiple rectangles, I'm going to have that times k. So I would have 6 times k over n. And I'm starting at 0. So it's always your a value. So I'll put x sub k. x of any rectangle, any rectangle's x value, is going to be a, your starting point, plus your delta x, your change in x, times k of those rectangles. And so we're going to have 0 plus 6k over n. And you don't need the 0. Then what I'm doing is I'm going to plug that in for x into whatever function they give me. So that would be 5 plus 6k over n. So I would put f of, let me back that up. I don't need f because I'm actually plugging it into the function. I'm doing f of x sub k. So I would have 5 plus 6k over n. That's the height of every rectangle times what my width was, which is the 6 over n. That's how they want you to put it in. It'll get easier the more you see. OK, let's try another one. We're going from 2 to 5, so that's going to change. I'm not starting at 0. So first thing I would do is find the width of each rectangle. 5 minus 2 divided by n numbers of rectangles, because I'm getting more and more rectangles as I go. So that's my delta x. That's going to be the second part of my multiplication. Then to find x sub k, meaning um, the height or the width, really, of any rectangle, it's going to be taking my delta x that I just found. I should put a plus delta x times k. And so our a value is 2 plus k of these rectangles. So it would be 3k over n. That's for x sub k. So this has to get plugged in for x in our function. So it would be 3 over 2 plus 3k over n. And put parentheses around this. So this is the function, like the f of x, and this is times the width, height times width. OK, try one more. Write a limit using summations that would equal the area from 3 to 4 of this function. OK, 
Okay, 4 minus 3 divided by n number of rectangles is 1 over n. Okay, then I'm going to take that times k. So I have k over n. So I'm starting at 3 and adding k over n to it. And so then I would plug that in for x. So it's going to look like sine of 3 plus k over n minus 2 here. like that. So what this is saying is that you're going to have from one rectangle to an unlimited amount of rectangles. We want those rectangles to get really, really big, a whole bunch of them, so that we can get the area of this is your height times your width.